Thank you. So again, we're excited to announce the 2021 Summer Games of Texas that'll be held the last weekend of July and sharing the more information about this exciting event that uh, will benefit our community is Mayor Paulette Guajardo. Mayor? Thank you. Thank you so much. Good morning, everyone. It is a pleasure to be here with you all to officially kick off the Texas Amateur Athletic Federation Games of Texas 2020 and 2021. So the games will officially start on July the 29th and they will run through August the 1st. And the city is honored to host this event for the fourth time. Corpus Christi previously held the games in 1992, 2012, and 2013. So on behalf of the city and our city council, and by the way, we have our councilman at large, uh, John Martinez with us today, supporting as well. We wanna welcome not only the athletes to our beautiful city, but their families and spectators and, and just the experience that all of everyone that's gonna join us uh, in whatever capacity uh, to, to the, that our city has to offer. And we welcome them, welcome them during these dates. Uh, and we're very, very uh, happy to have them here in the city. So we wish them, of course, the best of luck. And I also wanna extend to all of our residents and businesses, I wanna invite them to be a part of this statewide event by learning how to get involved. You can volunteer or just cheer on your favorite sports. Uh, finally, I, I would like to thank our Parks and Recreation Department, Lisa Oliver, who just spoke, Sarah Munoz, uh, Dante Gonzalez, and countless other employees who have dedicated endless hours to make this event possible. So I appreciate every city department that has uh, put efforts into uh, coordinating this to make sure that we have a successful endeavor. And I look forward to sharing the games with the entire city. And we're very, very proud uh, to have these games um, here in Corpus Christi again. Thank you. Me da mucho gusto inaugurar oficialmente la Federación Atlética Amateur de Texas, los Juegos de Texas 2020 y 2021. Los Juegos comenzarán oficialmente el 29 de julio y se extenderán hasta el 1 de agosto. La ciudad de Corpus Christi tiene el honor de ser la sede de este evento por cuarta vez. Corpus Christi celebró anteriormente los Juegos en 92, 2012 y 2013. En nombre de la ciudad y su consejo municipal, queremos dar la bienvenida a los atletas, familias y espectadores para que experimenten todo lo que Corpus Christi tiene para ofrecer. Para los residentes y negocios de nuestra área, quiero invitarlos a ser parte de este evento estatal aprendiendo cómo participar. Puede hacerlo como voluntario para los Juegos o animando su deporte favorito. Le agradezco a todos los departamentos de nuestra ciudad que están trabajando para hacer de este un esfuerzo exitoso y espero poder compartir estos Juegos de Texas con ustedes. Great, thank you, Gabby. And now we'll hear from our city manager, Peter Zanoni. Great, thank you, Mayor. Good morning, everybody. The city of Corpus Christi is proud to host the 2021-2022 Amateur Athletic Federation Summer Games of Texas. Athletes and spectators from 17 different regions across Texas will compete right here in Corpus Christi. Corpus Christi is part of Region 16, and that region has 11 different counties, including Nueces, Aransas B, Calhoun, Goliad, Jackson, Jim Wells, Clayburg, Refugio in San Patricio, so a big area. The Games of Texas has grown to become the oldest and largest amateur sports event in the state of Texas. In 1986, Corpus Christi established itself as one of 10 original cities that got the, that got the games organized. So our history goes back, right? We were, we were involved from day one. We first hosted the games in 1992 and we've hosted them also in 2012 and 2013, so it's been a while. We're glad they're coming back here in about a month. In this year's bid, we were selected and beat out three other competing cities to host the games. So they don't come here on their own, we have to compete to get them here. As a result of that, we're expecting approximately 10,000 athletes and 15,000 spectators. So that means a lot of people in our downtown and other parts of our city They'll be using our hotels, restaurants, beaches, and entertainment venues across the city. Now, we know that something this big 
uh, can't happen with just a few people, right? So it takes us a lot of coordination. Our city's emergency operations center is involved, our police department, the fire department, our public works, parks and recreation, and Visit Corpus Christi all make this happen. The EOC hosted weather briefings and were coordinating interdepartmental meetings with over 10 different departments across our city. Our public works will enhance safety measures for spectators and participants by providing traffic management and making sure those pedestrians downtown are walking safely. Also, something new uh, in recent time is we're using our EMTs on bike, bikes downtown to provide quick access in case some of those folks out there need medical attention. And we also recently, the mayor and several council members unveiled the brand new AMBUS, a big air conditioned uh, bus uh, ambulance, so to speak, on wheels. We'll be using that for 24 hour patient availability at some of the sporting events. Now, the city, as I mentioned, can't host this alone. Uh, we have other partners as well as just the city. So that includes Corpus Christi Independent School District, who will be letting us use many of their venues. The RTA, the Regional Transportation Authority, uh, will be helping us with transportation. Our downtown management district is helping as well by spreading the word and making sure the hotels and the restaurants will have available capacity for us. Visit Corpus Christi, who's gonna speak here momentarily. They're coordinating lodging and other venues uh, for those 10,000 athletes and 15,000 visitors. And then we do have other agencies that are helping as well. So we have 13 local and national sporting event promoters. Some of the local ones include Oso Pony Baseball, Next Step Volleyball, Third Coast Disc Golf, Love Tennis and Education, Padre Youth Soccer, and then Sweet Spot Tennis as well. So those are all the folks that are helping us, the city, as well as some of those outside agencies uh, to make this happen. And on behalf of the mayor and council, and as a city manager, we want to thank them because we know we can't do it alone. And we know that with their tremendous support and help, this is going to be a great venue. There's also some national promoters that includes uh, Gridiron Football and then USA Water Polo and then USA Boxing as well. I did want to just, uh, I think I had it here. Well, I guess that's it. Okay. We're going to turn it next over to Brett Oding, right, of uh, CBB, who's going to talk a little bit more. Is that right, Lisa? It'll be, um, oh, actually, Bart? Okay. We're going to translate in Spanish for us. La ciudad tiene el orgullo de inaugurar los Juegos aquí en la ciudad. Corpus Christi es la región 16 y cuenta con varios condados que van a participar. En 1992 fue la primera ocasión que se llevaron a cabo los Juegos en esta ciudad. Esperamos a más de 10 mil participantes y más de 20 mil visitantes. Son varios los departamentos involucrados en este esfuerzo. Se va a contar con medidas de seguridad para todos los participantes, así como con oficiales de policía adicionales y paramédicos. Otras agencias también participan en este esfuerzo, como CCISD, el RTA y el Distrito de Administración del Centro de la Ciudad, así como otras agencias deportivas para que este evento se lleve a cabo con éxito. También contamos con promotores a nivel nacional. Next on our program, we'd like to introduce Mark Lord, the Executive Director of the Texas Amateur Athletic Federation and no stranger to Corpus Christi. <laughs> How are you? Finally, finally we get to come to Corpus Christi. We were scheduled to come here last year. Unfortunately, COVID has affected everybody, but TAF is ready. We're, we're going to bring numbers to you. I want to tell you a little bit about TAF. TAF started in 1925 and is made up of 150 plus municipal parks and recreation departments around the state. We will bring athletes from every corner of the state here. We will probably have between eight and 10,000 athletes, an economic impact of eight to $10 million to your city over four days. Uh, I was telling Brett, city of College Station uh, CVB says we are the equivalent of four sellout home football games four days in a row at Kyle Field, and that seats 103,000 people. So we're a big event. Uh, our, our ties run deep with Corpus Christi. Uh, you know, we had to start early to get the EOC on board with us. It, Billy Delgado is a past president of TAF. Brenda Marshall with school district 
has a few planned days of, of TAF and is a TAF great. And I, I want to thank it. But we are so pleased to bring, this is our first multi-sport event that we've been able to come back with after COVID hit us. And that's huge. I mean, it, it, we have basically 40 state championships and 10 sports throughout the year with two multi-sport festivals. We've lost to summer games and a winter games, and now we're back and we can't wait. We've got a regionals up and running. We won't know who's coming for another couple of weeks. We have our major qualifying weekend is two weeks before the games. But we can't wait to be here. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, and we will see you. Traffic will be crazy around Cabinets, I'm telling you now. But that's a good thing, so thank you. Finalmente logramos estar en esta ciudad. Desafortunadamente COVID no lo permitió el año pasado. En 1925 fue el primer año que se llevaron a cabo los Juegos. Este año esperamos partic la participación de miles de participantes. Este es el primer evento multideportivo que se lleva a cabo a nivel estatal después de COVID. El tráfico va a estar algo difícil en el área de Cavanish Field, pero esto es una buena noticia para todos los residentes. Thank you. And of course, with the support of Visit Corpus Christi, Offering remarks, Brett Oding, Chief Executive Officer. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Uh, for, first off, uh, Mark, I, I understand the significance that this type of event has. Before I moved here in Kansas, we hosted this event every year in Topeka for the Kansas State Atlanta. Games. Yeah, so very, very understanding of the significance that it has on a community. Mark did a really good job talking about the economic impact, and I always like to talk economic impact, so I'll take a different approach today. And this is a great opportunity for Corpus Christi to showcase our city for the future, not that we're just a great place to visit, but we're also a great place to live. Think about all these young athletes that are aspiring to go to college. What better place to play sports than an island university? all the adults that at some point are going to think about retiring. And I don't know about all of you, but I plan on retiring towards the beach as well. So we have a great opportunity to make this more impactful than just the weekend that it is, which like Mark's at eight to $10 million is super impactful for the community. It helps build community. So from that standpoint, Visit Corpus Christi for the next 30 days is going to be spending a lot of time working with the participants, getting the word out that this isn't just a place to come down for a couple days and sweat while you compete. After you're done doing all that, have some relaxation time. Stay for a couple more days. Bring your entire family down here, and let's really showcase what Corpus Christi is all about. So we're very, very excited for the games to be coming here and very grateful for Mark and his partnership. Este evento tiene un gran significado en nuestra comunidad. Este evento va a tener un impacto económico importante en nuestra ciudad. Tenemos una muy buena oportunidad para mostrar nuestra ciudad. Esperamos un impacto de hasta 10 millones de dólares. Thank you once again for joining us uh, this morning. And we also extend an, uh, an invitation to the business community and individuals to also be a part of these spectacular games by either supporting the event with your sponsorship or even more so with your time and volunteer. This effort, along with the sports organizers and employees of the Parks and Recreation Department, it will also take a, um, a large number of volunteers to also assist in carrying out the game. So again, for more information, we invite you to visit the TAF website at taaf.com for more in, uh, additional information as well as uh, uh, we're also available at the uh, end of the press conference today to answer any questions. And um, before we dismiss, I'd also like to recognize the staff that's in the audience. Uh, we have staff that are leading the uh, subcommittees for being able to host the event. And this year's staff liaisons are uh, Martin Huerta, who's serving as our liaison uh, from the department. And we also have a couple of our sports organizers that are joining us with us. And again, thank you for taking time out this morning uh, to be with us. So this concludes our event. Thank you so much. <laughs> Quiero extender una invitación a los negociantes, ya sea patrocinando o voluntariando para asistir a este evento. Para más información puede acudir a la...
www.taaf.com. También quiero agradecer a todo el personal y empleados que nos ayudaron a organizar este evento.